I know I'm gonna get a ton of haters for this video, but if you've ever been interested in investing in real estate and becoming a landlord, one of your biggest fears is probably having to evict people. Fortunately, I had to do that today. It is not fun, but it's necessary. And I just wanted to give you a real world perspective of when things go badly and how to recover from it. I was literally in the courtroom for 15 minutes or less and my attorney settled with my tenant before the judge even came into the courtroom for the full balance plus attorney fees and court costs. Unfortunately, I had to evict a tenant who moved in and immediately stopped paying his rent. He actually showed up, agreed to settle for the full balance. He owes about three and a half months, a balance of $11,000 on a $3,200 a month. It turned into over $16,000 with all the legal fees. The court's giving him 10 days to get out. Otherwise, the sheriff will set their things out 30 days later. It is nice to know that the court system will help landlords to regain access to their investment. He's a super nice guy. Too many promises, too little payments. I look forward to getting this property back up and online. So today, I won possession of the property and a money judgment. So what that means is after 10 days, if he's not out of the property, then I can contact my attorney back. They will contact the sheriff's officer who will put a notice on their door to set a set out date where he'll literally show up and whoever is managing the property will need to come there in case we need to set their things out of the house. Usually people don't want any trouble. They move out immediately. I've only had one tenant in my entire life who didn't get their stuff out. And I've got an early video on that. So it's not like somebody can stay in your house forever. Again, it was less than 30 days or so when I contacted my attorney and said, I'm done, when they were two months past due. And then now they've got 10 days to get out where the sheriff's gonna set them out. It probably took about a month or so from when I contacted my attorney and I said, they're two months behind on rent, I'm done. The purpose of this video is just to show you that you can get people out of your houses when they don't pay. Not fun, but necessary. There are plenty of great tenants out there that want to pay their rent and will do so timely and stay a long time on your property. So don't be afraid to be a landlord and use the justice system when you get deadbeats. If you use a property management company, they would go to court for you. It really just depends if you want to be actively involved to manage your own properties to start out with. If you don't want to pay a property manager in the beginning, when things go south, you'll need to be prepared to go to court. You do need a clause in your lease that says they are responsible for paying attorney fees. You also want a clause in your lease that waives their right to 30 days notice before filing for an eviction. I'll be happy to share my lease with you. I'm Jeremy Parvin. I'm an investor and I'm a realtor in Tennessee and Georgia. I specialize in helping landlords get started and get up to the first dozen or so properties. If you're outside of my area, I can refer you to somebody in my brokerage. We're a top 10 brokerage. We're everywhere and I can still be a part of your deals and coach you.